Welcome to week two of experiment number five. This week, uh, we're going to be focusing on the analysis of phenacetin. So here we have Daniel. Uh, Daniel, uh, what are you showing us right now? So first, I'm going to be doing the uh, TLC of the product we made, the phenacetin. Um, so I have my TLC plate here, and I'm going to use a pencil and draw my baseline of where I'm going to put my spot. And I'm going to do this TLC maybe a little bit different than you've seen before. I'm going to do three spots here. So I'm going to mark them if I bring that up the camera, you can see I've done three spots. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spot just the starting material here. In the middle, I'm gonna take a spot of the starting material and I'm gonna take a spot of the crystals that we made, hopefully just the phenacetin. And then the very last spot here, I'm going to spot just the product we made for the phenacetin. And so this middle one is called a co-spot. And so if our starting material and our product are pretty close to each other, RF value wise, on our TLC plate, hopefully that'll allow us to kind of clearly see that there are two separate spots there. Beautiful. So I have here dissolved in acetone a little bit of the phenacetin, so it's in this little test tube here. I mean, sorry, this is the uh, acetaminophen, and then the phenacetin in the other test tube. So these are fairly dilute. This is just a pinch of each dissolved into about a mil, mil and a half of acetone. And so I have my capillary spotter here, and I'm going to just quickly tap just once on that first one, and once on that second one. So it's kind of hard to see, it's drying already, but I'll pull it up on the UV, and then you'll see how small these spots are so that we get good separation. And so you're and just tap tapping those uh, pencil marks, correct? Yeah, just where those lines were, just a quick tap. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with our product. So just one little spot there, one little spot there. And so we can actually, let's see if I can get this kind of real close and then maybe we'll see this by UV. You can see those spots there, real small spots. So now I'm going to take this TLC plate and I have my TLC chamber ready. And in here I have 75% ethyl acetate and 25% um, hexane. I'm going to use my tweezers and I'm going to set it down in the TLC chamber and we're going to peel that off. Now you can see there, you can already start to see the solvent just starting to rise up the TLC plate. And so hopefully that'll get everything to separate. Awesome. So now, now I'm going to show you the one I've already done. So I set one up earlier. So this is the result here. And we'll make sure to take photos of these and post it on Canvas for any RF measurements. So you can see I did the same thing down here. So if we review, I have starting material, the co-spot, and I have the product, and then I have the line. So this is when I pulled it. This is where the solvent front was when I pulled it out of the TLC chamber. So we'll make sure to take a photo of that. And so if I get in close again, So now you can see, go ahead and maybe orient it like this to the camera. And we'll go ahead and mark these when we take a photo to post the canvas. So you can see here's our starting material there. So hopefully acetaminophen. This is our co-spot, so a mixture of the acetaminophen and hopefully phenacetin. And then this is our actual crystals that we made here at the end, which should be the phenacetin. So you can see there's only one spot here we don't see a spot just underneath it that correlates to the starting material. So this reaction does indeed look like it went to completion and we only have product. Fantastic. Thank you, Daniel. So we're gonna move right into the ferric chloride test which I have set up here. So I'm just gonna grab these test tubes. And the ferric chloride solution. So here in these test tubes, I just have water. Here I just have a pinch of the acetaminophen, and here a pinch of the phenacetin that we made. So to each one of these, I'm gonna add one mil of our ferric chloride solution. So 
So this is adding to water. Nice yellow color. And then we're going to add to acetaminophen. You can already see, kind of turn this nice green color. See the difference between those. So the yellow is just water, that kind of greenish one. Is the acetaminophen. And then if we add one mil, to the phenacetin, we see no color change. All right, Jared, thank you.